Hey everyone, I have to be on camera a little bit for this one because I'm pretty excited. And it's a little bit of a different video. Now we're talking about um, the 35th anniversary of Mario, uh, also the supposed Super Mario 3D World Deluxe game, and a potential Nintendo event or Direct next week, building off of our video from yesterday about a massive Nintendo Direct coming next week that came from a reliable source. You want to hear about that thing, click up here or up here, wherever it is, on that little card that pops up, uh, and you can check that one out. Uh, I'll even put a link to that video down in the description as well, and maybe even in a pinned comment for those that want to read more about it. Also, we just did a video uh, about Breath of the Wild 2 and how it might be coming out sooner than we think, whether it's this holiday or early next year. Again, uh, a link up here again or down in the description or in the pinned comment uh, for that video too. But let's get into this by starting with our giveaway for this month. We are giving away a copy of... Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition. All you have to do to enter is comment down below, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell icon. Uh, yeah, that's all you gotta do. You can get the PlayStation 4 or Switch version. Winner will be announced at the end of the month. Also, also, to toss this out there for you crazy uh, people, we are on our road to 50,000 subscribers. And if we hit 50,000 subscribers before November 1st of 2020, we will give away in the month of November an Xbox Series X, a Nintendo Switch, or a PlayStation 5. It'll be up to the winner, of course. If we hit 50,000 subscribers some point after November 1st, we'll still do a bigger giveaway, maybe multiple games, three, four games or something, but uh, we won't be doing a big console giveaway unless we happen to hit it uh, in that lead up, that hype launch for those new next gen systems. Or hey, if you just happen to want to switch instead, um, no sweat off my back, it'll probably be a lot easier to get you one of those anyways. That being said, uh, let's get into the Mario stuff. Now, this has been rumored forever, right? I think March was like the first time something popped up about uh, a potential Mario 3D collection uh, and all that jazz. But what's been interesting is uh, I watch Spawn Waves videos. I don't watch them all the time because I don't want to um, feel like I'm getting all my information from one source. Uh, and he doesn't appear to be the direct source of this either, but he's hearing from other people like Direct Feet Games, uh, which he, his name's also ironically Nate. My name's Nate. His name's Nate. Um, and uh, he's been really, really good with insider information over the years, uh, even though his, his, his YouTube channel obviously focuses on direct ga gameplay feed of, of games. But uh, he said this last Friday. He kind of slipped it in at the end of the end of week news wave. Uh, check it out. But the Mario 3D collection, expect that in like a week or two. I mean, that's going to get announced and it'll probably come out sooner than people are realizing. So keep that in mind. It's just, these are rumors and, you know, people want there to be a Mario 3D collection. They want a Metroid Prime trilogy because those sound like awesome collections of games. And when they're not there immediately, they obviously start to get some doubt, frustration, all that kind of piles up. But the good news is, look forward to the 3D collection pretty soon, like I said. And here's hoping Metroid Prime Trilogy isn't too far off, but as of now, it's, uh, it's still a rumor. Hopefully not like the Grinch leak. So correct me if I'm wrong here, John, uh, that's, that, that's Spawn Wave's name, John, he, he seems pretty uh, confident here about that Direct next week and about the 35th anniversary uh, 3D pack, collection pack, whatever it is getting announced next week, doesn't he? Oh, and by the way, he just said this, well, I don't know, today. We're gonna start right away with uh, Nintendo's announcements that seem to be coming up. See, if you've been listening to the Spawncast or any of that, the podcast, of course we do, uh, or even on Nate's channel, you know that uh, part of the plan was to have an indie showcase first and then a direct second. The idea now is that this week will be the Indie Showcase. I saw a lot of people in the comments for it or responses on Twitter, for example, or on YouTube commenting on it. They weren't happy, of course, because this is an Indie Showcase and it's not a big direct to announce games. That is coming at least, it seems, okay? So the idea, Indie Showcase this week, a little patience next week, maybe we'll see a direct possibly because there are some things that need to be announced specifically. And I know, again, I see it, the Mario 3D collection. I, that's what we're calling it right now. Tentatively, I'm sure the real title will be something crazy. Maybe I'll even throw a U in there. You know, new, new Super Mario Bros 3D collection deluxe U or something like that. Anyway, uh, it does seem that Nintendo continues to double down on the Mario themed accessories. And of course, we've seen all of the collaborations. It's Mario's 35th anniversary. Anniversary, so, of course, we expect these kind of things, but the games will come soon, okay? Expect 3D World Deluxe? 
that showing up at some point, and then expect the 3D collection, most likely in some sort of event I'm gonna stick with because who knows with Nintendo and these directs anymore uh, next week. Also, check this out. These popped up on Amazon with a starting release date of September 1st. You can see two different ones here, which includes the Hori Mini Pad, that's the Super Mario Edition, which the, the sticks themselves look, I guess, like full analog sticks, similar to what's on the Pro Controller with the little D-pad there, ABXY. Uh, for the most part, it's just a Mario-themed a wired controller from Hori. Keep in mind though, that is coming out September 1st at $25. And then just a few days later, September 4th, the Power A Enhanced Wired Golden M controller at $25 is also releasing. Now, the interesting thing here, obviously the controllers uh, seem to be um, timed at a release point that would seem like there's going to be some Mario game announcements coming next week. Uh, and he, while he's not willing to call it a direct because this is Nintendo, they could do something crazy. It could just be a special 35th anniversary celebration of Mario. And then it's just like, you know, a half hour of Mario goodness or whatever they decide to show. Um, he's very confident it's coming next week. Uh, so this is why we're going to kind of talk about it because uh, I think it's interesting that uh, someone who, uh, a YouTuber who has a reputation much grander than my own uh, is... Uh, not necessarily making himself the source of this information, but he's sort of throwing his weight behind the idea that the people he talks to, the people that he has on Spawncast, are correct. That we're getting a Nintendo Direct or something like that next week, and we're going to get a bunch of Mario goodness very, very soon. Now, he does seem to be pegging uh, Super Mario 3D World, if you, if you dig through some other content in some of his Twitter account. He seems to be pegging that more for like a December or January release, which makes a lot more sense. Uh, you know, even though this is the 35th anniversary to kick off next year uh, with a Mario game like they did with New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, uh, that would make a lot of sense. But yeah, it's very, very interesting. Obviously, uh, he kind of hints that also that the game might be coming. This 35th anniversary collection pack that supposedly exists, with, you know, the one with Super Mario 64, Sunshine, Galaxy 1, Galaxy 2, all in HD remastered. I don't know, whatever the hell they're doing with these games. Uh, which is crazy because Nintendo, it's very un-Nintendo like to do this, by the way. They, they've done like collection packs before. That's not unheard of, but games of this caliber, they usually remaster and sell at 60 bucks a pop. Gotta wonder, I wonder if this would be like a $100 collection pack. I don't know, but they've also done Super Mario All-Stars. So I have no idea. But I will say that uh, he seems very confident that we are going to be getting these games sooner rather than later. Uh, as in potentially before Pikmin 3 Deluxe, which comes out in October. So are we talking about a September release? Is Nintendo just been holding their cards close to the vent, the, the, the best and dropping this game for next month? That would be very, very interesting of Nintendo to wait this long to announce something that is going to sell, you know, five, ten plus million copies easily. Uh, and then obviously that leaves us up to debate if if there if this isn't the big game for the holidays because some people might have presumed, hey, the 35th anniversary games uh, that uh, collection pack is clearly going to be the holiday push for Nintendo. And what the hell is the holiday play? Are, are they going to announce a Mario Kart 9 or something else crazy? I don't know. Or is that the Breath of the Wild game? Is, are they going to sneak that out this holiday? Breath of the Wild 2, even though like Zelda's 35th is next year, so it wouldn't make sense for next year. But then if they need something for this holiday and the game's already ready to go. I don't know. This is getting kind of crazy and we have all this crazy stuff going on. And uh, yeah, I'm just left here with my mind spinning in circles and circles and circles and circles, trying to sort through all of this stuff. There are so many credible people pointing at, at this 35th anniversary, pointing at next week's direct. Um, I'm uh, like, if they sneak this direct out and Spawn Wave said it himself, if they sneak this direct out next week, it will be just under a year uh, that they would since their last full direct. And this is even if it's called. What, what if it's just Nintendo Direct Mario Edition? And then does that really count as a full direct if it's just all about Mario? Wouldn't that just be a Mario Direct? I, I don't know. Uh, but a lot of people, a lot of people, not just him, are hinting that hey, this indie world thing we just had today, that was the first thing coming in August from Nintendo. There's much more. So uh, hold on to your butt cheeks because next week is sounding like the week to pay attention to Nintendo, especially if you are a Mario fan of any of the games 
uh, that, that you've, we've grown up with, basically. So uh, let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Do you think John and Spawn Wave is, is overhyping this? Or is he like, hey, like this is legit shit and we should be buying it. After all, we had that really credible thing about a direct next week. Uh, credible stuff about Breath of the Wild 2 from, from a verified retailer that has leaked Switch games in the past, like Witcher 3. Uh, we have had people that are very trusted like direct feed games and king's l and all this talk about the 35th anniversary edition there's a lot of crazy crap happening right now um but all of it is happening without nintendo opening their damn mouth except today with the indie world and the funny thing is about the indie world is that direct feed games where which is where uh Swanway gets a lot of this information from told us told everyone we would get an indie world this week and a nintendo direct next week and he said this last week i'm just saying Things are adding up. All right, folks. I am Nathaniel RoboJet from Nintendo Prime. Looking fly as hell over here. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to catch you guys in the next video.